Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, like I was talking about in my Organize With Me or my Declutter, my new makeup drawer video that I just posted, we're going to continue with the organizing of the things and this is very like unplanned so I don't know if I'm going to declutter much today, but all I know is that I need to fit all of these. So I have five face palettes here that need to go into this drawer. <laughs> but as you can see, it's already at max capacity. So this is um, lip products obviously, that are extra, like that I can't fit anywhere else. I've always just kept them in here because I have this like very shallow tray. But underneath is all my face palettes. And I can't put any more in here without like having to put the, that tray somewhere else. But I don't have anywhere else <laughs> to put that tray. So basically my makeup room is like a puzzle and I have to fit everything in somehow. So let's just get into it. This is not even fully open, but I'm scared. Is it? Yeah, it's heavy. So I don't know, what, where do I <laughs> begin? Well, I'm not gonna even get rid of this. This was just in my, was it my deck of panning? Yeah, the ColourPop quad from the um, the shell themed collection. This is the Might as Shell Super Shock Highlighter Quad. I am going to keep that. I guess I'll take everything out. Oh my god, this is going to be a disaster. Whoops, I just hit the camera. Um, okay. <laughs> then we have this Ofra on the Glow palette. Oh, this is six of their full-size products. I think they sell all of these individually uh, because I've had these two individually before. I'm going to keep this because I really like it. And yeah, it has highlighter, blush, bronzer, and I really like Ofra's um, formulas. So yeah, keeping that. This, okay, I've had this for years. I bought it, I think it was on sale, so probably not when it first came out. But this is the Sephora Pro face palette in medium. And I got the medium one because I liked the the shades better. Um, of course that means like maybe this bronzer is gonna be, ew, I don't like how you can see me. <laughs> maybe this bronzer is gonna be too deep for me. Um, maybe, yeah, this is a highlighter. Probably not. More like a blush, um, vibe for this for me and like blush toppers, but I thought it looked really pretty at the time and I never used it. And, um, <laughs> I think it's because this wasn't in my Tiny Decisions app for like the first year or two that I had it but now I made sure that it's in there and it's in there in many different categories because there's different products like blush bronzer highlighter so I should be pulling this in to something I really do want to use it I've heard really good things I don't think they make these like Sephora Pro things anymore but yeah I'm gonna keep this because this is actually quite pricey for a Sephora branded thing. I guess that's why they called it Sephora Pro, so that they could do a higher <laughs> price point. Um, this I'm also keeping, my Aether Beauty Crystal Charge Cheek Palette in Rose Quartz. This was in a project recently, and I love the tones in here. So there's two blushes and a highlighter or a blush topper. My back hurts already. <laughs> okay, I'm just going all over the place here. 
uh, my Becca Ocean Jewels highlighter palette. This was in a, in my deck of panning also and I'm keeping this forever because I love it. This Fenty Beauty uh, Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder in Chocolate Swiller. I've never, have I used this? I don't know. I think I just swatched it. Um, this did not get very good reviews. Some people's um, like shrunk in the pan, so I'm glad mine is still kicking. It feels really nice and smooth. I don't know <laughs> where I could show you. I think my, okay, I'm gonna have to move my office chair because I think it's making the shadow. But anyway, this looks really pretty. I don't know how I'm going to use it because uh, that's too deep as a highlighter and kind of shimmery for a bronzer. But I think the point of this was like you just put it everywhere kind of thing. Shimmer, bronze shimmer powder. And I think you could put it like on your body if you wanted to, like your shoulders or something. Let me just move my chair. I don't know if that did anything, actually. Anyway. Uh, my Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Definitely keeping this. I love these um, little quads from her. They have two cream products and two powder. And every time I use this, I really like how my look comes out. This one, and I also have the love glow and I love this one also so definitely keeping those another Fenty Beauty product this is the the one that has the different shades of bronzer and two like highlighters slash eyeshadows this is called the Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. I love this. I'm keeping this for sure. Even though I think I have some of these shades separately. So you get In the Sun, Private Island, Caramel Cutie, Cocoa Naughty, and Thick Mint. And I think my other one, is it In the Sun? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm still going to keep it because I like that. This is a complex culture in the moment baked highlighter and bronzer quad. I got this in a boxy charm. It does look very pretty. It reminds me of Tarte. I think it's the packaging and the shades actually. Um, I don't remember if I use this, but it definitely looks really pretty. And I'm keeping it. <laughs> So I told you guys, I don't know, I don't think, well, the thing is I have to declutter some things at least or else I won't fit anything new in here. Okay, Cali Ray, I'm keeping this, I already know, the get the, what is this called? I don't know, I don't think it's called get the look because that's to scan this thing. I don't know, but I do want to do a Cali Ray video. You have blush, um, bronzer, well this is like a palette where you just use everything as you wish. Um, they still didn't come out with the mirror that I thought they were supposed to come out with. So it just has this sticker which kind of annoys me. Um, but yeah. I did, I think I used this in a video, right? And I remember liking it. So I'm keeping that. I have another quad from the Shell theme collection. This is the Shell Yeah Super Shock Highlighter. This is more um, probably like blush toppers for me. Um, but I'm keeping that. It's still in the box so I must have not pulled it into any project yet. Oh, then I have... <laughs> The Rouge Romance palette from Jaclyn. I think, so does her brand not exist anymore? I don't know, I don't follow 
her or any people she surrounds herself with. Um, the Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palette. But it's really pretty. Um, I only got this because I found it at, I think it was a Winners. And it was brand new. So I was like, I'll just try it. So I don't know. I'm not going to do a video or anything, obviously. But I'll just keep it for now. If it's like not that impressive, I'll just pass it on to somebody who doesn't like know about YouTube <laughs> and all the drama. Anyway, this is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. Keeping this, definitely. I don't think I've used this one. Oh, and I have two of these. I think, yeah, this is the new one, right? Like the, the one where they were doing like the trending colors. This is dirty. Oh. Um, yeah, definitely keeping that. While we're on the one size trios, I have this one. Oh, so yeah, this is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio, but the shade is Attention Seeker. This one is fat ass <laughs> and I love it. I have used this one. It's very pretty. So I'm keeping that. I have this MAC Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. This is very old. It was a holiday release, um, but I'm keeping it because <laughs> I love... Mostly I just love how it looks, I think. I don't know if I like love the formula but I've definitely had this I think in projects before and if it's still here it means I liked it so keeping that or in my shot my stash for sure this Catrice and Iman blush palette cheeky blush palette I got this for as like a free gift well I got it for Christmas but my mom got it as a free gift when she bought me a naked palette from shoppers here in Canada um, and it's really pretty I love the shades in here I remember I used this I'm pretty sure and I liked it so I'm keeping it <laughs> this half caked double dipper color duo in girls tour I have yet to use this it came in a boxy charm, but again, I really like this shade. This is going to be, ooh, that felt really smooth. That's definitely not a highlighter shade for me, but a blush topper, yes. And it's small and compact, so I think I can keep that as well. This um, Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette from Seraphine Botanicals. I believe I had this in a shopping stash. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, I remember this now. It's actually quite used. Well, at least it looks used. And I remember liking all three shades. And I definitely feel like I used this as a cream blush. I didn't put it on my cheeks. Uh, I didn't put it on my lips, but I'm keeping that too. Oh, this. I loved this. So, no, I did not pan an entire bronzer. It actually broke like a day after I bought it. And if you guys don't know, we can't buy Flower Beauty um, anywhere in Canada. The only place I know where you can get it is if you order it from well.ca. Um, but I haven't checked their site recently so I'm not even sure if they still have it but anyway so this broke it was a nice like contour slash bronzer shade for somebody with a light skin tone I love the blush and I really like the highlighter should I keep this this one I might have to think about I, I did really like it, but it's just kind of like, 
It already has a broken shade. I can't buy it in Canada. I don't even know if this is still available anywhere in the world. <laughs> this was the Lift and Sculpt contouring palette, by the way. I don't know. I'll put that aside. I'm going to keep my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This was just in my Shop My Stash. I mean, really, I can't use all of these shades. Like, some of them are just too deep for me. These I don't really use because they're like highlighter. Not highlighters, like shiny, but you know, matte matte powders and I don't use products like that because I have dry skin <clears throat> so technically probably I shouldn't keep this <laughs> but I'm not ready to give it up because I do like these two shades carrot and princess cut Ugh. yeah I'm gonna keep it I think and this Wander Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, I got this in a boxy charm, and I was like, is that supposed to be a bronzer? But then I think I used it, and it did kind of come off as a bronzer. So it's just. Oh god, this is not a good angle for showing you swatches. Yeah, like it has, somehow, it's, it has a warmth to it. I don't know if you can see that in this lighting. Um, I think I'll put this one aside too, to think about. The Iconic London Blaze Chaser Face Palette. I remember really liking this. I had it in Shop My Stash, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'll put it aside. I think I'm gonna So with the ones that I'm putting aside, I'm gonna compare with ones that I'm keeping and if they're like too similar You know the shades are duplicated then I might just pass it on uh, This I'm definitely keeping the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero <laughs> glow kit. I mean how old is this? I actually didn't buy this. My cousin got it as like um, gratis. She didn't work at Sephora, but she worked for Makeup Forever. And I don't know, I don't really understand the story, how she got, like they get to try other makeup brands. I don't know. Anyway, so she gave this to me and I love it. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Alamar Cosmetics Colorect Blush Trio. Yes, I love the shades in here. This is definitely like a summery. Actually, everything from Alamar is like summer to me. So yeah, keeping that. I see two more Natasha Denona things that I'm sure I'm gonna keep. The Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. Looks like that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this, but I definitely want to use it and remind myself how I feel about these shades because this, I don't know, that looks kind of deep, yeah. That's too deep for me as a highlighter, but as a blush topper, maybe. This one I'm definitely keeping the My Dream Cheek Trio the Blush and Highlighter Palette. Yes. I'm keeping this. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, here's my Patrick Ta face palette. I have two of these? Okay. <laughs> This is not good, I don't remember. This one, Major Headlines Blush Palette Volume 2, and just Blush Palette. Okay, so this is the first one. Yes. Okay, keeping that. Love all these colors. <clears throat> 
This one has She's a Doll. She's vibrant and she's baked. So keeping this. Then we have the volume two. Okay, yeah, this is the one where he did a highlighter and people were like, what is, what am I supposed to do with this? <clears throat> I don't think I've used this one yet, but it's, I'm gonna keep it. First of all, it was probably very expensive. And second of all, I do really like the shades in here. And I just, normally I do really like his cream and blush formula. So the thing is, one of the products I have to fit in this drawer is another Patrick Ta face palette. <laughs> this is the Major Holiday face palette. Ooh. Well, I'm definitely keeping this because this is not just blush. Like there's um, eyeshadow. I see them more as like eyeshadow toppers, but they're very pretty and sparkly. Love the blush shades. This one is Giving I Need Her and Giving Main Character. What were the ones in this one? Giving Flirty, Giving Sunkissed, Giving Glossy. Okay, so they're all different. Yeah, gonna keep those. <laughs> oh, my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This was in a project. Um, I really do like the eyeshadows in here. I like the highlighter. This is not my favorite blush though. But I think I'm gonna keep it anyway. Because, I mean, it's still usable. It's just, I didn't find this blush as like pigmented or like easy to blend as her other ones. So yeah, but I, I love the eyeshadows. I love the tones and this is something like when you're you know not wanting to pull a lot of products you're out of time but you still want to do a look you can just grab something like this and you have everything in it I have another iconic London this is the multi-use lip and cheek palette I don't think I've used this one yet yeah no it's still <laughs> it's a plastic Oh, but I love the shades. And I do, everything I've tried from Iconic London, I've liked. So I'm kind of weary to get rid of their stuff. And it's expensive. Oh, okay, I'm keeping this. This is my, sorry for the noise, it's planes. I live near the airport. <laughs> If you couldn't tell in all my other videos, sometimes like I just don't even notice it anymore and I just keep talking and I'm like, wow, they must be like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> anyway, Makeup Forever. This is my trio that I um, made, <clears throat> that I made myself. Um, I think they've redone like their whole entire line as they seem to do every like two years for no reason So I don't even think you can still get these products anymore But this was just in my I think it was my whole collection project and I love it. I Love the powders. They're so finely milled. I love the blush. I love this contour slash bronzer this again, I don't use these powders as much but this is just a really nice one and it blends so smoothly so i'm keeping this this is another thing that's good for traveling oh my Denise myricks dewy cheek and lip palette that i have not used yet definitely not getting rid of this but i don't even know if i'll like it because i haven't used it yet but keeping that Okay, this is something I think I'm ready to let go of. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette from IBY Beauty. I got it in a boxy charm eons ago. And I don't even know, I don't think I've ever used it to this day. But I don't know if I will because, I mean, I would if it got pulled into a project, but 
this is not something I'm like, oh, I have to pull out my highlight and contour palette to do my look. I never do. First of all, I don't highlight and contour. Like in this, in this sense, you know, with a palette of matte powders, that is just not how I do my makeup. I don't think I need this. No. I will pass this on. So that one's definitely something I can pass on. So I'll put it in a different pile. <laughs> oh, I have another Iconic London. Wait, what? Multi-use sculpting palette. What was the other one called? Multi-use lip and cheek palette. Oh, oh yes, okay. This one is like a highlight and contour palette, but in creams, I believe, which is more up my alley, but still not something I reach for that often. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> These look really nice. I don't know how I'll get away with that one, but... And maybe these can be used as like foundation or a concealer. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this because I'm curious about it. I don't, do I need the box? I should probably not keep boxes because I noticed <laughs> from my last video, the boxes really take up a lot of room. I mean, this is the only thing that's in a box, so yeah, I don't need this box. And I, I can still distinguish it from the other one because the lip and cheek one is this white and this one is reflective, so. Here's a throwback, the TARDIS Pro Glow. I remember this went on sale at Sephora and I was like, oh, it's my chance to get it because back then like I really didn't have a lot of money to be spending at Sephora but yeah it went on like 50% off and I quickly went and picked it up and I haven't really used it that much unfortunately I've definitely used these three and honestly think only I've swatched the cream but it still looks good like it smells like chocolate still it feels nice and yeah, I just really like it. I don't want to get rid of it yet. But I do definitely need to use it and remind myself if I really like it. Ooh. That is actually kind of deep, the cream in there. For me, anyway. We'll have to see about that. But definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping this. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. The blush lighter palette from Beauty Bakery, right? Yeah. This is the Cotton Candy Champagne. And I think, um, is it Emily? I just blanked on her name. Oh my God. Anyway, she loves this palette. And I really like how it looks, so I'm going to keep it, at least to try it. But I'm sure I'm going to like it, and I love the packaging, it's so cute. This is actually very, <laughs> side note, this is inspiring me, inspiring me for my crafting because I have a die that cuts a champagne flute with like little, you can do even the bubbles inside. So that's what it reminds me of. Uh, shameless plug for my other YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, I do have a crafting YouTube channel now. I always leave it linked below in the like other places you can find me section in my description box if you're interested. Anyway, another Alamar product, the Hydrating Complexion Trio. This was in a Shop My Stash or a project of some kind and I really liked it so I'm keeping that too. Oh, this little thing got pushed way to the back. The Anastasia Italian Summer Face Palette. This came in a um, 
an Ipsy Icon box, I believe. This looks really pretty. I mean, it's not something I don't already have, of course, but I want to try it at least. My Nars Narcissist, I've had this forever. This is the Wanted One cheek palette. I love it. Oh yes, I remember this now. This highlighter is one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. There's a fluff in my mouth. Um, yeah, definitely keeping this. Not just because of the highlighter. I really like the blushes in there too. This pretty vulgar nesting bee face. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Um, face palette. I remember liking this. Yes, I've definitely used this a lot. The son of a bee shade. Uh, I'm keeping it. <laughs> then I have this, these two huge things. So a contour palette from, do you say this, Cab Cosmetics or K-A-B? I don't know. Volume 1. This is just it's so big. Why? Why is it so big? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Part of me is intrigued because I don't. Mm, oh, actually, I do have lip oils from the cab, and I love them. Ooh, but this is, I know going in, this is not something I'll get much use on because I'm not going to use the powders. I would use them if they were rolled into a project, and I challenged myself to use them, but it's not something I reach for on my own. But it does have a banana powder, which I kind of been interested in and these two shades look good for me okay I think I just talked myself into keeping this even though I said I'm getting rid of that other one but this one like this highlighting contour is not as exciting as this one so I'm gonna keep this for now but if I don't love it I'll pass it on this would be a good product for like a makeup artist or something, but I don't know a makeup artist anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I'm definitely going to get rid of that box because this is already taking up so much room in here. Then the last thing I have here, oh my god, look at this bulkiness. The Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Casey Holmes. How old is this? <clears throat> I think I've taken most things out. Yeah, so th actually this lip product I gave to my mom because it was just too metallic. Like there was too much shimmer in it. It was really pretty though. It looks better on my mom. <laughs> but And then this um, Eau de Toilette Butter Paradise I have with my my perfumes like in my room. But then, you know, you have to keep this whole box just for keeping four eyeshadows and these three things. <sighs> I do want to keep this, though. I just wish I could not keep this packaging. But I don't think you can take these out. I think they're glued in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to keep this. Because anyway, I don't even have like a palette that I could put this in otherwise. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. So this is the butter bronzer, but in the deep shade and even the deep shade works for me so that's fine then the blush is copper cabana and i remember i'm sure i used this before it doesn't look like i have oh i'm not sure anymore i thought i liked it and this highlighter definitely looks used this was limited edition so it only comes in this box it's the just beachy 
or it did only come in this box. I don't know if they released it. So this seems to be more glittery than their normal um, formula, but it looks really pretty. I do generally like the butter collection things, and I love these eyeshadows. Like this look by itself would be so pretty. And you even have like how to use it here. Okay, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I just wish it didn't come in this box. Anyway, gonna keep that. I might as well just put it back where it is because it fits there. And then all we have left is this container. So this is like my very mini face palettes that I just keep in here so they don't roll around everywhere. I have the Kaja um, 01 Butter Up Play Bento Blush and Bronzer. <laughs> so, yes, this was in a project. Ooh, that's pretty. The bronzer specifically, <laughs> you could tell how used that is, which I like to see. And I remember loving this, so keeping that for sure. I have a similar product from Ali Oop. This is from a BoxyCharm. The Stack the Odds in Sassy Pants. I think this one, yeah, this one, ooh, it's cracked. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. This one like spins out like that. And these are all cream. Wait, how does this work? Oh, this one you open. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep this because it looks really pretty and I didn't know that's what that was gonna look like. Okay, this is more like a sheer balmy type formula, but I definitely want to try it because this looks like a nice color trio. So I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, I'm definitely not calling this a declutter because I only am maybe, so definitely only getting rid of one thing, maybe three other things so far. And I know I'm keeping this, my MAC um, Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. This is beautiful. This is one of the best highlighters they've probably ever done. And I do really like the blush too. This has actually been used quite a bit. It was probably in a shot my stash or a project. Like I've worn down some of the embossing. So I love this. This is very nostalgic to me too. So keeping that. Um, definitely keeping my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I got this for Christmas. Um, I did only ask for the mini one, but I got the big one, so that's fine. Clearly I've dug my nail into that. And I actually have used this. It looks brand new, but I remember liking this. So I'm going to keep that. And because it's Charlotte Tilbury and it's so expensive. The Smashbox Contour. Ooh. This is probably something I don't need. This is the step-by-step -step contour palette. The, so this came with a, a cheek, no, a lip palette and an eyeshadow palette. And I've already decluttered the eyeshadow palette. So let's look, do I need this? <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how mini this actually is, but it's very hard to get a brush in there. And the shades are nothing special. I have used this before. I don't think I need it. Because if I'm going to, this would be like a travel makeup item, first of all. But when I'm traveling, I'm going to take something more like this. Like that has more things in it. Like this has blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Same with the Natasha Denona that I was talking about, that you even have eyeshadows. This only has three powders, and I'm not going to use that, probably. So this can be passed on to somebody else. Yes. And the last...
messing here. It's full of dust. The Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo. Ooh. This is something I've always been wanting to use, but it never gets pulled in to a project. Um, yeah. But I think people really like this from what I remember. It's very old. It feels nice though. Ooh, that's pretty too. So it's two powders, but they're translucent. So there's a matte one and a glow, but it's not like a highlighter. It's more like a finishing powder. And I do like that it's translucent and it seems to blend out nicely. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that, but definitely would like to use it. I hope it gets, you know, pulled into some kind of project. So keeping that one. Let's put these minis back, I guess. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I just realized I didn't, Okay, so from the things I shared at the beginning, the five face palettes, I am, well, I'm going to keep all of these because they're new. These came from my new makeup drawer. Um, so I already know I'm keeping that one. So I put it with the other Patrick Ta palettes. Then I have the Glamazon, whoops, trio from Tarte. That looks really pretty. Um, does this fit in my mini? Yeah. I don't know. I have to keep this flat because then it won't close. Is that going to close? Nope. Okay, that works. Then my melt. I just shared these in my last video, so I won't talk too much about them. The Seraphine Botanicals Geranium and Glow, and the Ofra Bienvenido San Miami. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so let me figure out how I'm going to get all the stuff back in here. And then we'll look back at what I'm getting rid of. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Um, so I did decide to take out the um, Physician's Formula box, but I put it over here. So in this thing, I have like a place, I can't take it out because it's a long story, but it's a place where I keep like bulky things boxes that I want to keep so I put it in one of those slots so that it's out of the way because I didn't have room to put this drawer back in so without this in here this is what we have um, it's still like not perfect there's things that are stacked on top of each other I tried to keep things like within the brand. So this is like all Natasha Denona, uh, ColourPop, One Size, then just random things. All my Patrick Ta palettes are stacked here. And then the bigger ones, I just kind of pushed to the back and I had to stack them, but that's fine. So I'm just glad everything fits in here. And this is what it looks like without those five palettes. So the two I said I was definitely okay to declutter. I am going to declutter these as well because I don't have room for them. And considering I was already thinking about decluttering them, I'm just gonna do it. I don't need to keep these. I obviously have enough going here. And these can be passed on to somebody that will use them. So, yes, I will be getting rid of five face palettes. So that's exciting. I was not really expecting that. And it works out perfectly because if you remember from the beginning, I brought in five palettes. 
So technically I'm at, I'm still at the same numbers, but I'm just glad I can fit everything in here. Ideally, I would like to not have to put this tray in here, but honestly, I don't have any more space for lip products anywhere else. And yeah. Anyway, that's that. So this is my face palette drawer done. And the next one I know I have to do for sure is my primer and foundation and concealer drawer. And that's going to be difficult because I don't know what I, I would declutter from there. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!